who says I don't have friends? Then who is this? Say hi to them. So I was supposed to meet up with somebody here in Kyoto Station and uh, I came at 10 and we were supposed to, to meet up at 10.30 in one specific cafe in Kyoto Station and what I did was like walking around for like half an hour and I couldn't find a place. I ended up being late 15 minutes, so like 45 minutes I was just like, you know, exploring the Kyoto Station. And then actually I got an idea, like, so why don't I just film the Kyoto Station? And maybe in my defense, actually, this is the second biggest station in Japan, but the architecture is absolutely amazing. And uh, also my ability to, <laughs> to not be able to find my way is also devastatingly amazing. So yeah, let's take a walk together and we might get uh, lost or might get found here in the Kyoto station. But what makes it more interesting is actually the reflection in the glass. So it looks like it has like three folds, but it's only one. Oh, look at it. I'm uh, mesmerized and I'm confused. Like, how do they clean it? How are those windows so perfectly clean? And the reflection, it's amazing. climbing at the final stairs but the amount of happiness that kids have here in this building is like they're enjoying <laughs> the, to explore so much oh it's called happy terrace oh my god it really is like everybody's like the kids are especially laughing happy terrace so yeah we are at the top so let's check the view So it says, be careful of black kites, image your food. <laughs> oh, they also have urban gardening here, inside of the station. Since I originally come from a small town, uh, I was not really used to, before moving to Japan, to bumping into so many people, but um, I think at first what was natural for me was to always apologize and kind of stop but actually that creates much more confusion so usually what people do here is they do not react at all so they would bump into you and just continue their way and you kind of just do the same so <laughs> it's not rude it's just like effective <laughs> Look at this station. Isn't she lovely? So huge. The amount of people that are here circulating. It's crazy.
so yeah this looks hell amazing now let's go and take a look from here <laughs> After seeing the escalators, it really reminded me of the waterfalls and just like seeing the river of the people going downstairs. It really has a wow effect on me and it almost feels like seeing something uh, uh, huge, for example ocean or going to the mountain top and then um, when you go to the top of the building you also can see the, the beautiful panorama of Fall Town. So, there is something about uh, this station that really wants makes me want to explore it and kind of even climb it. <laughs> so it is really interesting. I also felt this when I visited the Namba Parks, which is the urban park in Osaka. Um, that is basically the building, but also with the park at the same time. And uh, it's uh, just such an interesting architecture. Your way to heaven. I always find it amusing how they always put the names of the flowers next to the flower pots so that you can actually read and if you maybe want to put it in the garden it's really educating and uh, uh, makes people appreciate plants I think so more because then you can read the name of the plant and like why is it important so okay but like look at this look at this oh my god they also did such an amazing job at framing the Kyoto Tower. Oh, it's super windy now. So there are many angles that you can see the Kyoto Tower from and it's just like so perfectly framed. Like look at it, you can stand here and it just like <laughs> sits perfectly in your view. Oh, 
this has to be my favorite framing. Just squeezed into the curiosation. It's just amazing. One more amazing view, isn't it? So now let's take a look from <laughs> from over there. As you might have noticed, there are so many signs here in the station and uh, for me I get the feeling like I am in a, some kind of a huge mountain or a big cave or exploring a natural place but the materials on the other side are grey and really dark and reflecting so I don't have a feeling of nature at all but uh, I guess that uh, just the way of uh, I admiring something so huge it reminds me of nature such as like for example when you see ocean you just see something huge and you go like like this is so amazing and you and I guess I connected those feelings with nature so now seeing Kyoto station made me think about it <laughs> so much for watching this video let me know in the comments what do you think about Kyoto Station